Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Team Possible Legends. Today we're going to be looking at three more players that I feel should be or could be in Ultimate Team as a legend. So let's go in and have a look at the three players that I've chosen for today's episode. So the first player that we're looking at today is Juan Sebastian Veron. As you can see, I've given him an 86 rated card overall. Uh, Veron started off his career uh, mainly playing in Argentina, then made it big into Italy playing for Lazio and Parma before he got his big break uh, to Manchester United. And I, I first noticed him playing in the 98 World Cup um, alongside the likes of Simeone. And a uh, very good player, always um, walked around and played with shin pads that were always far too small for him and always had his socks really down low. That was like his trademark thing that he had. Uh, but a great central midfielder. And when he moved to the Prem, I wasn't sure how he'd cope with it. But he really got stuck in and played some really good football for United and then went on to play for Chelsea as well. And then playing for Inter Milan and a few other clubs in Argentina after that. But his the, his gameplay style was just very, um, it was very bulldog type central midfielder. Really got involved, wasn't scared to put in a tackle. And his passing was great, whether it was short or long range, he always picked out players very well. That's why on his card I've given him 92 pace as his standout stat and 86 dribbling. And I think that would be a very nice card. Possibly could be a bit higher rated, but that's what I would give Ron overall. So moving on to the second player now, and as you can see, it is Giovanni Van Bronckhurst. And for those of you who don't know him, he was a left back slash left wing back slash left midfielder at times, uh, who played for quite a few clubs, played for Arsenal and Barcelona, and uh, was really good in the Dutch national team as well. Uh, as you can see, I've given him that 87 rated card overall. Some decent pace on there with 88, 85 shooting, and some of you thinking he's a left back where you're giving him that high shooting. If you haven't seen the goal that he scored in the World Cup, I think it was 2010, just YouTube it, an absolutely brilliant goal that he scored um, for the national team. And he was just such a great left back, and I think this card would be good to have the squad builders that you could do. If, for example, if the Edgar Davids card came in that I put in one of my earlier episodes, that would be great, but also you've got Van Nistelrooy, who's a legend, you've got Van Basten, and then you could feed him around other players like Van Persie, um, Robin, just all other Dutch players. I mean, the team you could build would be awesome. You just need a couple more um, decent players in there to feed him around the right-hand side. But anyway, moving on to that card, you've got 88 pace, 85 shots, 73 passing, 81 dribble, 80 defending, and 69 physical. I think, obviously, you've got Roberto Carlos already on the game, but I think this would be maybe a cheap alternative for a legend left-back, but also a very strong card as well. So that's Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. So moving on to the final card now, and I have definitely saved you the best till last in this episode. And as you can see, the player that we're looking at here is Claude Makélélé, and what a genius of a football player and a revolutionary football player that he was uh, to the game. Obviously, as you can see, a French national also played for some really big teams, Real Madrid, uh, Chelsea along the way as well, and he was just an absolutely brilliant player. He pretty much made the position of the central defensive midfielder and show people how that position needed to be played uh, without having to take too many touches, playing very simplistic football. Uh, but I would rate him very highly and he was just such a pleasure to watch, especially to have him in the Premiership and to watch him week in, week out in that first sort of few seasons of Roman Abramovich's Chelsea team where they just annihilated everyone. Uh, he was one of the key players in the team alongside Lampard, Terry, Drogba and all the rest of them. And he would make for some great squads with the other legends that are already in the French ones and some of the French players that are currently playing as well. Going on to the card now, I've given him a 90 rated overall and I think that is well justified for McAlealy for being such a great player. And he's got 75 pace, he wasn't the quickest of players. Um, 70 shooting, 96 passing because his short and long range passing was just absolutely on point. You rarely saw him let a pass go or... You know, you're just so reliable to have in your team. You've got 90 dribbling, 85 defending and 83 physical. He was very small, but he did not mind putting himself about on the football pitch. And that's what made him, I think, one of the best central defensive midfielders that the Premiership has ever seen. So if you have enjoyed this episode and you like the three players that I've put in, let me know and also let me know of some players that I could put in for future episodes. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.